Welcome back to the Cyclos 4 instruction videos. This video will be about users. We will create a new user in this video, we will log in with this new user in this video, and we will configure the public registration for new users in this video. Well, first of all, we have to sign into Cyclos. Uh, in this case, I will sign in as a global administrator. Uh, I'm logged into my new network. That was the video we were working in uh, also in the other instruction videos. Uh, I use the same products and groups that are already there. So we have one product that's called profile fields and it gives a member some profile fields and it also gives a member some rights to view some advertisements. And we have a group uh, gold members and silver members and normal users. So the easiest way to create a new user is uh, to create it as an admin. So let's create it. Uh, let's create, uh, sorry, we are here in the groups. Here we don't create any users. We of course have to go to user management and then to users. And then we have to select which user we want to create. We want to create a gold member in this case, and we will call him a test user two. And the login name will be test2, the password will be 1234, 1234, the email will, you have to use your own email here, and the website, we will just put something in there, because it's required. Okay, save and open profile. Okay, so this user is created now. Uh, we can manage his passwords, for example, by clicking on passwords, and then we can uh, reset it. So a new password will be sent to his email address. We can change it here, or we can disable the password so that the user cannot log in anymore. Uh, we can uh, manage his groups, we can manage his products, his configuration, we can uh, add him to our contacts, uh, we can see which uh, registration agreements he agreed with. Uh, well, that's all we can do with this user for now. Uh, let's log out and try to log in with this user. So uh, sign in, and this username was test2, and the password was 1234. We log in. And we see in this, indeed this user has permissions to log in. It doesn't have any dashboard yet because we didn't give any permissions. Uh, it can search other users. It can see another test user that's in the system already because it uh, belongs to the same group. And we gave the permissions for him to see that. It can see the marketplace, but there are no advertisements yet. Uh, and it sees the top personal where he can manage his own profile. Okay. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we will create a public registration also, because if you look here, you can only sign in and not re register yet. So let's sign in. Uh, let's sign in as the admin. So I'm now a global admin managing this network. Uh, then we have to go to configurations. Well, you have not been here yet, but we will in a later video we will explain this in more detail. But for now, we just you have to assume just change the default configuration. And okay, now we are logged into the default uh, configuration of this network. Then we scroll a little bit down to the guests. See where it is? Here it is. And uh, well, visible user groups. Well. If we want guests to be able to search some user directories, for example, for public companies that want to be public listed, we can select it here. Possible groups for public registration, we can select which groups are allowed to register them publicly. In this case, we will only select the silver members and we will save the product. And this means that silver members can now publicly register. We still go back to the group settings quickly. And in the groups, we see the silver users. And here we see, okay, they're called normal users on the registration. So let's log out and let's see. Okay, here we see the register button now. And here we can register as a, uh, as a silver user. So let's uh, test user three, test three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, your email address. 
and you have to specify a website. Well, use your website here. And you have to fill in the capture. And submit though. Okay, your user has been registered. So now you have to, uh, you can sign in as this new user. It depends a little bit if the email, valid, if you still need to confirm your email address, but I think it's not on in the system right now. Uh, so we log in as a uh, as this user. It's called test three. Password is one two three four. And let's sign in. And here we are logged in again. And we can see all the things. Okay, and we can see now the other two test users too. We already created. Well, that's about it for this video. Uh, please watch our other videos and good luck with configuring Cyclos. Bye bye.